Sia, the Comanche Nation Ethno-Ornithological Initiative, occupies most of a city block in Surreal. It's a deceptively small space for the big things that happen here. Sia means feather. The feather is what ties us with all the great birds that we use in culture. William Volker is the co-director of Sia. His large friend, Thomava, is a golden eagle. Thomava is uh, our history maker bird from last year. He's the first native eagle ever produced under authority issued specifically to tribes for the captive breeding of native eagles. There are bald eagles here too. Volker has spent more than 45 years in raptor research and has produced more than 300 eagles of all kinds in captive breeding programs. The golden eagle, though, is special to his Comanche people. Basically, it's our primary connector between uh, we earthbound creatures and the Almighty. Uh, anytime the golden eagle is called on uh, through its energy, uh, through the feathers of the bird, it's a direct corridor or a direct um, uh, connection with the Almighty. This golden eagle is the result of artificial insemination. His descendants will also be products of artificial insemination. The golden eagle is not as threatened as it once was, but the techniques used in the process are also helping save other raptors worldwide, like the ornate hawk eagle from South America, threatened by habitat deforestation. These birds are hand-raised and imprinted with humans. The key to coaxing the birds to donate semen is getting them to recognize humans as mates. This is an auger buzzard from Africa. Okay, this being a totally imprinted bird, he's going to want to... What he's doing talking to me is courting, and he's going to want to mount, mount me. And during the course of the day, just to get him keyed up, I'll let him mount my back or shoulders several times a day. Eventually, the offspring of these raptors will be released into the wild to help revive shrinking populations. There are more mated breeding pairs of eagles here than any other place on Earth. The feathers from the golden and bald eagles, when they molt, can legally be given to tribal members for ceremonial purposes. The other mission of SIA is, of course, ethnological. SIA maintains the world's largest collection of literature about the Comanche people and historical images from Comanche history. The library is intended for research. A special section of the facility stores and safeguards artifacts. Many are hundreds of years old. The birds, books, photographs, and artifacts fold neatly together in a higher purpose to preserve the heritage of the Comanche. William Volker and many his age learned much about their people at their grandmother's knees. Later generations do not have that opportunity. Because of my grandmother and her long life and the fact that she was totally traditional, never converted to any other way of life, and that these ways came to us directly from her, um, you know, we're kind of it. Any generation after us will not have the benefit of learning from those people who actually carried these ways into the new era. So we have to do everything we can while we're alive and on this plane to get things historically accurate and get the record established so that future generations will know the truth about our culture.